Raila paka lini Raila Hii vita si ya Raila na Ruto Hello welcome to the graduated voice updates be ready for the real tea details to tell Azimio Nakuru County today. Good afternoon, Kenyans and Azimio fraternity. Following the occurrences of the past few weeks during our countrywide peaceful demonstrations, we witnessed police brutality of the highest order, where our armless followers were shot at, were shot at with live bullets, disproportional use of tear gas illegal abduction of our leaders, destruction of property of unknown value by hired goons, unconditional jailing and blackmail to our members. This is not what our forefathers shed blood for, and we condemn these heinous acts with the strongest terms possible. We gather here today to start in solidarity with the families of those who lost their lives by being shot by the police. Those nursing gunshot wounds in various facilities, political prisoners, and those who lost their businesses and property during demonstrations. As a coalition, we are committed to the rule of law and call on investigation agencies to fast track the process and bring the perpetrators to book to book further we are instant that the right to peaceably demonstrate and picket is a basic right that must not be denied delayed or prejudiced by anyone we are thankful to all Kenyans who had to our call and deciding hatutasimama maobu ya kitawala. That is the true Kenyan spirit. We thank the religious leaders who have been the voice of the reason throughout the process. The human rights organizations and the international community for warning against the injustice that were visited upon unarmed demonstrators by the state agents. Today, we demand that all our political prisoners to be unconditionally released and all the gunshot patients being held at Nakuru Teaching and Referral Hospital be allowed to go home without charges with immediate effect. Those who lost their loved ones must fight justice, and we will exploit all available avenues, including ICC, to ensure that justice is served. As our party leader, Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga said, the Azimil Coalition will, will roll out a reach out mission to all the victims and accord them the necessary support. We will communicate the next course of action as of when it is available. God bless you for coming. God bless you for standing with Kenya. Thank you so much. Na kwa sasa, kwa sababu ya interest of time, napenda kumpisha awa azimio patron, Mr. Geshoro, to say our leo usiwe na maandamano tuwe na siku ya kulia na kuwakumbuka watu wetu ambao walijeruhiwa na wale walikufa nataka kurudisha asanti kwa kanisa la katoliki kuanzia mabishop wote house of bishops kwa yale maneno walitoa 
msimamo wa kanisa akasema ya kwamba tabu ya wakenya itatuliwe haita tatuliwa na kupiga watu risasi itatuliwa tu kilio cha wakenya kikisikizwa maneno ya maisha kwenda juu maneno ya electro justice na maneno ya demokrasia yetu kuchungwa na hiyo ndiyo condition ambazo azimio imepea serikali bado tunaona serikali ikijipiga kifua na kuonyesha kwamba hawataki maongeo haiwezekani kuwa makanisa wananchi sipo society wote ambao wanasema maongeo isiyo ni ya wanasiasa peke yao ma, maongeo ihusishwe watu wa Kenya kwa sababu yale ambao tunauliza inatuhusu sisi yote kwa hivi leo sio maneno mengi kuhuzunika kwa vile hii serikali inatumia vio ambavyo wako nazo kuua kuangamiza na na kumeim wananchi ambao waliwachagua kama walichaguliwa tungetaka wasikie huruma wasiturudishe nyuma miaka ya kiimla miaka ya kiimla tulikuwa nayo first government second government lakini kutoka wakati 2010 wananchi wa Kenya wakasema no more kwa hivi hata sasa tunasema tafadhali <coughs> serikali reason with us reason with the Kenyans kusiturudisha nyuma sasa ningemwalika kiongozi wetu wa jubili katika kando na haya maombi ya kwa ile maneno imesomwa hapo mbeleni umesikia tunahusika na wale waliumia wale wako hospitalini na eh, azimio kwa jumla tutakuwa na hawa kwa kilio chao na usajili wote ambao tunaweza kuwa ndugu zetu siku ya leo ni siku ya kwa kubwa sana kwa sisi wa Kenya wote kwa sababu ya yale ambayo yametupata wakati tumekuwa tukifanya maandamano maandamano ambayo sikuvunja sheria maandamano ambayo imeruhusiwa na katiba na si maandamano ya madharau ni ni maandamano kujaribu kuitana tusikizwe kwa sababu ya yale yote yanatuangamiza na yanatuthurumu wakati huu. Ndugu zetu, tumefanya maandamano nayo serikali ikaonyesha ina nguvu kuliko waandamanaji. Baada ya kuuliza waandamanaji wanaandamana kwa nini? Jiwaambia kilio chetu ni hiki. Waliona njia nzuri ikukutana na waandamanaji kwa jia ya kifua kwa jia ya kuua kwa jia ya kupiga kwa jia ya kuharibu mali ya watu wakatuonyesha kama hatuna serikali ambao inawafikiria wananchi na swali langu kwanza mimi na minajua ni swali ambalo liko katika kufikiria wa Kenya wengi kweli serikali ya Kenya kwanza ilichaguliwa na wananchi na kama ilichaguliwa na wananchi kwa hakika ni serikali gani ambayo inaundwa na wananchi inachaguliwa na wananchi na haina huruma na wananchi ni serikali gani hiyo hii inaonyesha waziwazi wazi ya kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza hamkuchaguliwa na wananchi wa Kenya kama hamuna huruma na hawa mnasikia kilio chao kila pahali mambo ya maisha yamepanda chakula kinakosa unga ambao unajua ndio chakula chetu wa Kenya mnapandisha bei 
na zaidi ya hayo mnatengeza sheria ya kodi kututoza kodi zaidi baada ya muwe na huruma ya kwamba watu wanalia kwa sababu ya gharama ya maisha mnaongezea gharama katika maisha yao <coughs> zetu tunawachukua kama yule mfalme kijana wa Solomon mimi nataka hii jambo lifikie viongozi wa Kenya kwanza umechukua kama sisi kama wale vijana kijana wa Solomon aliyeulizwa na wazee asikie ya wazee akakataa akawajibu nitawaongoza na kifua na nguvu yangu nitawachapa na kiboko kiricho the scorpion whip i don't know what you call it is why hayo mambo ndio tunaonyeshwa sasa na Kenya kwanza nataka kusema ya kwamba tuna maswali mengi watu wamepigwa risasi hao watu wamekufa ni risasi Kenya kwanza kama ninyi ndio serikali ya wa Kenya kuwalinda wa Kenya mumechika mtu hata mmoja aliyemua mtu aidha akampiga risasi au vile alivyokufa hatujasikia mtu hata mmoja ambaye ameshikwa kwa sababu ya watu kufa kile tunachoona ni vijana hawa wadogo kwa sababu ya wana kilio kikubwa wamesoma hawana kazi wamesoma wazazi wao wanaangamizwa na kodi wamesoma hawana matumaini hawa vijana mkiwapata badala ya kuwasaidia ni kuwapiga risasi mimi ni mzazi na mimi ni mzee mimi nashindwa na ninaona wazazi ambao wamepoteza watoto wao wale ambao wamepoteza bwana zao wale wote haya mambo wameyapata bila mtu kujali nataka kusema hivi kwa Kenya kwanza tuna maswali mengi tuambia mnatafuta mabuduki mnatafuta nini tunajua vile mkitaka kujua ni nani alipiga ni risasi gani ilipiga mna uwezo wa kujua ni buduki gani ilipiga uziana mna tutafutia buduki muje muzipande muheseme ni hizi mkiwapotosha wa Kenya wa Kenya wamesoma siku hizi wa Kenya wameendelea sana na hakuna njia yoyote kutawapotosha mimi nataka kubaliza nikisema ya kwamba sisi wa Kenya tuko tayari kuwa na amani na taifa letu tuko tayari kuwa na amani na serikali tuko tayari kuwa wanachama wetu na tuko tayari kuona ya kwamba vyama vyetu vya upizani vyama vyetu vya kisiasa tunaviweka kwa uzito na kuziunga mkono kwa sababu tunajua gao yetu ni vyama vyetu vya upizani na mwisho ni sema ya kwamba Raila sio mwenye hii maandamano. Serikali mnapigana na kusema Raila 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 mpaka lini Raila. Hii vita si ya Raila na Ruto. Hii vita si ya uhuru anaongeza chumbi, anaongeza moto. Hapana. Hii vita ni ya wananchi na serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Hii vita ni ya Ruto mwenyewe na nimwambia mimi kama mzee nimekaa naye miaka mingi namjua sana afahamu na aanze kufahamu vita si ya wale ambao anasema Ruto ajue ya kwamba vita ni yeye na wa Kenya ndio anamuuliza maswali ya shida zao Mungu awabariki sana ndugu zetu tunasema tukiondoka hapa tuondoe kwa amani kwa sababu wajinga dunia hii ni wengi wale wanaotuvia kama wajinga ni wengi <laughs> Lakini wajue wana siku yao pia. Kwa hakika kama vile unaviona sisi wote na wale wa mama wanaangalia ma television na nini umeona ya kwamba hatutawaachilia wale ambao wamepoteza maisha yao haki zao tutafuatilia skotini hata kama ni ICC tutafuatilia hata kama ni sheria wapi duniani hii tutafuatilia kwa sababu wale watu wamethurumiwa na wamethurumiwa bila haki na kuna katiba ambayo imesema walindwe hiyo katiba iko wapi asante